The French Navy is currently considering the acquisition of Swedish CB-90 assault boats to replace the Vedettes de Fusiliers Marins, or VFM, according to a report by Mayor E.T. Marine on November 15, 2024. This potential move could reshape the future of France's coastal defense and amphibious capabilities. The VFM, a French-built vessel, was specifically designed for the needs of naval fusiliers. At 15 meters long and 4.3 meters wide, the VFM weighs 17 tons and is made from composite materials, which ensure a balance of speed and durability. Powered by four 350 horsepower outboard engines, it can reach speeds of 40 knots even when fully loaded. Armed with two machine guns and advanced systems like the Acheron MP anti-tank missile, the VFM is optimized for rapid deployment in coastal defense and port security operations. It can carry a crew of two and up to eight naval fusiliers, making it ideal for high-threat quick-response missions. On the other hand, the Swedish-developed CB-90 is a versatile fast assault craft that has gained recognition for its ability to operate in amphibious and riverine environments. The CB-90 is slightly larger than the VFM, measuring 15.9 meters long and 3.8 meters wide, with a weight of around 20 tons. Unlike the VFM's outboard engines, the CB-90 uses twin water jets powered by Scania diesel engines, offering similar top speeds of over 40 knots but with better fuel efficiency and a range of 300 nautical miles. The CB-90 can accommodate up to 20 fully armed troops, making it better suited for troop transport and amphibious operations. While it lacks built-in armor, the CB-90 can be equipped with modular protection kits and a variety of weapons, including machine guns, grenade launchers, and even the RBS-17 missile system. The key difference between the VFM and CB-90 lies in their primary functions. The VFM focuses on crew protection and firepower, ideal for coastal defense and high-threat environments. Meanwhile, the CB-90 offers greater versatility, with its larger troop capacity, better fuel efficiency, and broader operational range, making it a valuable asset for multi-role missions. The decision to replace the VFM with the CB-90 will ultimately depend on the French Navy's strategic needs. If flexibility, range, and troop transport are prioritized, the CB-90 could be the ideal solution. However, if crew protection and specialized firepower are paramount, the VFM may remain the better choice. Regardless of the outcome, this decision will have a significant impact on the future of French naval operations. Thank you.